What's up guys, it's me again. Uh, today I'm going to talk about proxies a little bit. And essentially what I think is the best way to try to hide your IP online. Because there seems to be a lot of confusion about this stuff. I don't know why. Um, <clears throat> so a lot of people will tell you just straight up, Hey, go download Tor. Connect to Tor, you'll be fine, right? Not knowing that there's technical aspects you have to take into account as well. Um, simply just using Tor isn't going to work. Um, first off, there's a couple theories about the NSA being able to uh, break the encryption of Tor, first off, because there's a lot of the nodes and stuff are still using weak encryption. Second thing is, um, if someone controls the entrance node, and the exit node in Tor, uh, all the hops that it does in between can be um, decrypted, right? So there's a theory where the NSA is like generating like wazoo's of fucking nodes, right? So when you connect, odds are they control the entrance and the exit node. They can compare those two pieces of information and see everything that you did coming through. And then in turn, they can decrypt that traffic and pinpoint you to an IP address, which you do not want. Tor is probably the safest, one of the safest ways you can hide your IP, of course. But you need to take measures into account before that, so that in case these theories are true, you don't end up in prison, depending on what you're looking at. For me... Cyber espionage related websites, you know, shit like WikiLeak articles, stuff like that. Things that the government doesn't want you to see, okay? Um, so, <clears throat> anyways, <laughs> not saying I look at that stuff. Don't, I'm just kidding. Okay, so, pretty much what you want to do is you want to hide your IP address before you connect it to her. So in case these people that own these Tor nodes and stuff decrypt that traffic, it doesn't pinpoint to your actual IP address, right? You have to take into account DNS leakage and everything, so I recommend getting the TELS operating system, which will pretty much do this stuff for you. Now, what I re recommend you do is connect to an actual proxy first. Not just any proxy, okay? <laughs> And I'm going to show you why. But connect to a proxy, then connect it to Tor. That way, in case the NSA or whatever hacks a Tor service, like they did with uh, Freedom Hosting, you don't land your ass in prison, right? Getting booty raped by Tyrone. Nobody wants Tyrone stick up their ass, right? So, what you need to do is hide your IP. You got to be careful how you do this. You need to go to a country like Syria, Saudi Arabia, or something, an online service where you can download, not download, I'm sorry, but purchase like a VPS or a VPN. Even a dedicated server will work. You just need to make sure you have the ability to set up your own proxy. Because connecting to someone else's proxy is just a bad idea. Because essentially what you do is say, hey, when I go to google.com, I want you to go to google.com for me and then give that information back to me. So Google got google.com doesn't know that I'm going there. They think you're going there, right? But when you do that, you're putting them as a man in the middle. So you, proxy, Google. You're letting them intercept the data in between. So if they're logging that information, that's bad for you. Especially if the government comes up to them with a subpoena. Bad shit. It's going to go down like Donkey Kong. So, what you have to do is always use SSL. Make your own proxy. Um, because even if they're not logging that information, who's to say they're not tweaking it? And I'm going to show you a prime example. So, I have my own proxy set up on my server. Squid proxy. I have this... Pazarella JavaScript file and this 
redirect.rb. Essentially, with these two combined, what happens is whenever a website hosts you a JavaScript file, it'll scan that, it'll take my payload from pazarella.js, it'll add it to that file, and host that to you instead. So I'm literally taking the JavaScript file the site is giving you, adding my own code to it, and then giving it to you before, uh, before it gets back to you. So like, you go to Google, right? Well, actually, you go to me. I fetch the page from Google. That page comes back to me. I add my own code to it. Then I give that to you. That way. Wait. That way. Right? So, this can be bad for you. Because I can put whatever the fuck I want in there. Like a key logger. This right here is just an alert box. But it could literally be anything. Just use your brain. I mean, use your imagination. Right? So, Let's give an example. My proxy is at infosploit.com or 94.23.62.140. Um, let's see what the port that it's listening on with netstat tolpin grep squid. It's listening on port 31337. Okay. Open up a new Firefox instance. Firefox P is profile. I already set up a profile for this, but we can create a new one actually. So, next, I'll call this insecure shit. We're going to start Firefox using the profile insecure shit. All right. Now, I don't want to show you my actual IP address, right? So, that's the whole point of why I showed you what my server's IP address was. We can verify that with an if config. 94.23.62.140. Right. So. Let's go to our preferences. Advanced. Network. Um, settings. And I figured out how this stuff works. Um, I mean, I figured out this type of attack from a DEF CON speech, so I suggest you guys uh, watch those videos and stuff. 31337, use it for all communications, okay. Uh, got it, got it bro. Let's go to google.com. Um, Type in my IP. So, the interesting thing is this isn't going to work with SSL because of the way the communication is with secure socket layer. It can see if that is being modified on the way back to you. And that's why I said always use HTTPS enabled sites. I think you can probably work your way around it. It will just be difficult. So. Look at this pop up. Infecting your files is fun. Yeah, so there it says my IP address is 94.23.62.140. You can see where the payload did the alert box right here, where it says infecting your files is fun. Um, essentially, if I went to this website without that, uh, I went to this website without the payload in there, that would never happen, right? So, I could literally just comment out. Really? I can't see what's going on here because of my webcam. Comment this out. Bring this back. And um, we'll go to another website now. 
on SSL. Uh, they probably use the same uh, JavaScript files, but so the thing is, all these websites are probably using Google-based uh, JavaScript files. So, um, yeah, see this this Google Analytics JavaScript file, which is interesting. So. Even if I disconnect from the proxy right now, my JavaScript files will still be infected until I clear my, my cache in my browser. So that's how dangerous it could be. So you could be using my proxy and then disconnect, and then I could still be infecting your files. Um, or Yeah, so it's just really dangerous. So what I would do is if you want to stay super secure, you need to have your own proxy set up, configure it, where you know it's not malicious, right? Because obviously that could be that could be a problem if you're just connecting to anyone's server. You don't know if they're doing that. They don't have to put an alert box telling you, hey, I'm infecting your files. They're just going to infect them without you knowing it. They're going to steal your information, right? So create your own proxy. That's why it's good to be tech savvy, right? It's not hard. There's tutorials online that make your own proxy server. If you need me to make a video, I'll gladly do it. Um, but don't just go connecting to any proxy server because you never know what they're set up to do, right? And you're making your, setting your browser to be, a, setting them up for a man in the middle attack. So look up man in the middle attacks on the wiki. But I'm going to end this video here. Just know you need to configure your browser to connect to a proxy that you control, that is safe, then you connect it to her, right? Don't miss a step in between that, right? So that is probably the most secure way you're going to be able to connect it to her. Um, peace out. Well, sorry, not the most secure way you're going to connect it to her, but the most secure way to hide your IP. Peace. I'm still recording, because I'm a derp. Oh, God.